And weighing in at this corner, at a massive 1.8 kilos, <laughs> we have Lottie! Yay! Lottie, Lottie. <laughs> 1.8 whole kilo. 1.8 whole kilo. She is the tiniest little thing ever. <laughs> and now she's just had her first rounds of vaccinations. She did not like it. But she was quite well behaved. Yes, she was very well behaved. It was so impressive. She took it like a champ. We decided not to get her uh, microchip because the needle was seriously the size of her head. So <laughs> I can just imagine it'd be really heavy all of a sudden having that much in your head. All I know. Over. She might actually be two kilos at that point. <laughs> I know. Why would I want to fat down like that? So we decided to wait 1.8 kilos. Next time we go back for the next round of injections, we'll get her done then. And we'll get her desexed and she'll be... Oh, she's not going to be having a good day. She's not having a good day today. It's her first day in the cage. Hello! It's her first day in the cage, first day being out, first time getting a needle. She's not loving it. But Wait, she's... Hello. Oh, right, I haven't introduced. This is Girlfriend. Hello! Hi, I'm Girlfriend. <laughs> a little bit of a tight fit here. No running today. We had to go to the hospital instead, Animal Hospital. It's very important to get, to get your animal spay or neutered. Is it Bob Barker? Is that it? Bob Barker yeah, said? Bob Barker? That'd be funny because Bob Barker, he has Bark in his name. <laughs> That's a name, Joe. No, it's good. It's a good joke. I'm pretty sure it's a lame joke. No, it's not a lame joke. You liked it, right? Oh, that's the important thing. Oh, it's so heavy. It's also her first time on a tram. But everyone's like, oh, what a cute dog. It was so, like, it's such a weird place being at the animal hospital because it's both adorable. Every five seconds, another dog would come in, and your girlfriend would go, oh, oh, and I'd be like, you have a dog. It's right here. Look at it and say, oh. And I did. She did. But it was also really horrible because like people come out and they're crying and you're like, oh, I know and what you happened went to you. In there with a cute dog. I know you. You went in with a cute dog and you didn't come back with it. Now you're crying. They had a box of tissues outside, so you know they're prepared. It's a weird place, animal hospitals. Well, and thank you to all of the staff at Lot Smith Animal Hospital who are super nice and have extremely well priced veterinary services. So if you're in Melbourne, check out Lot Smith today. What are you doing? I don't spruik in my videos. <laughs> spruik in your own videos. Yeah. Okay, Ooh. Here we go. okay, this place. Ooh, this entire petrol station is roped off. It's been roped off. No one can go in or out. Since when we got here, like an hour ago, there was a lot more police before. I wonder what happened. Mystery. Okay. And on that note, I'm going to cross the road and say goodbye. Bye. Bye.